Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com, and today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Thermarest Centauri Winter Sleeping Bag. This is a really lush, very warm winter bag, and I'm going to get it out of a stuff sack. I'm going to show you why it's cool, and then I'll show you why you should potentially want to buy one. So this is it right here is the Centauri regular Aeroloft insulation. It's a winter bag made by Thermarest. They make high quality stuff. Now this is a regular with the left zipper and it comes with this really cool um, mesh storage bag and it does have a drawstring on the side here so you can compress this thing even smaller if you really need to. But we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to open this up. And we're going to get it out of its uh, stuff sack and I'm going to set it up on the sleeping pad behind me. All right, here we go. It does have a nice little, uh, comes with a nice little stuff sack. So when you do backpack with this thing, you keep it all nice and protected. This is it right here. I'm going to set it up like this just because it's on the left zip. And we're going to get this thing all dialed in. Really nice high quality zipper. On the bottom side here, it does have these nice little stretchy elastic straps. So I'm gonna put my sleeping pad on them. And then we'll get in. Now this sleeping pad is a wide sleeping pad. Um, and the, the straps fit really snug on there, so it kind of curved the pad a little bit, but once I get on it, it'll be fine. And you see, once they're in place, the sucker is not going to go anywhere. You know me, I'm a big fan of branding. This thing has Thermarest all over it. Thermarest Centauri, winter bag here, Centauri, Thermarest here, Thermarest down here. We're going to unzip this. The zippers move really freely on this thing. The zippers move nice and easy. They don't snag which is great. And you can just tell the inside here that this thing is super, super plush. Nice little draft collar around the neck, fully enclosed hood. Drawstrings here. Here's all your EN ratings right here. It has a nice outside exterior pocket right here so you could put your you know, iPod or whatever in there if you were you know, listening to some music or something you want to get close. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I have asthma, so you know, when I go into the backcountry, I always bring an emergency inhaler. I hardly ever need one, but it's called an emergency inhaler for a reason. So that's something I would keep in here. Uh, as for, you know, maybe just a, a flashlight or a headlight or something else you wanted to keep close by, perfect. Nice little pocket right there for you. All right, so as I said, this thing has Aeroloft insulation. Now it's a synthetic insulation. So the Aeroloft is hydrophobic, so that repels moisture and it helps it dry fast. It actually dries faster than down, uh, according to all their uh, Thermarest tests on the uh, Aeroloft synthetic insulation, which is really cool. You know if this thing gets wet, it's going to dry fast and keep you warm. Also the fibers inside are hollow core, so they just trap heat and uh, make this sleeping bag way more efficient for uh, heat retention, so it's going to keep you warmer. So a lot of technology built in here. Now the straps underneath, this is called their Synergy Link, and what this means is basically it keeps the sleeping bag and the sleeping pad as one because when they're together, you're gonna have a much better night's sleep. You're not gonna be fussing and fighting with it all night. It stays put. It's still not gonna move on you no matter what. So that's what you want. You wanna, you know, after a long day of hiking or backpacking, you wanna have a good night's sleep, especially if you're continuing on like a through hike or you have a multi-day trip. You want a good night's sleep. Those are priceless in the backcountry. So the way this works is you're gonna ensure that you have a really good night's sleep, whether you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, or what have you, it doesn't matter. Synergy Link works and it's going to keep everything together. Now the regular size fits up to six foot, which is perfect for me because I'm exactly six foot. Uh, it also is about just under four pounds. So it's a winter bag, but it's three pounds, 15 ounces. Keep that in mind. So basically the way the insulation works on this sleeping bag is that it has zoned insulation. And what does zoned insulation mean? Basically what that means is on the top section here, this is where the majority of the insulation is. So that's really gonna keep everything on the top of you warm because when you're sleeping on the bottom, you're compressing all that insulation. There's no real you know, warmth that the sleeping bag is providing at that point. So on the bottom, they do provide some insulation, but not very much, it's little. 
So when that happens is you're going to really increase the overall warmth because the insulation that is on the bottom here is going to work with your sleeping pad and it's going to keep you insulated from the ground while the top part of the bag is going to keep you even warmer uh, where you need it to be because that's where the air is going to flow and everything like that. Another thing to keep in mind that this thing has a full length zipper and the draft collar right here is full as well. So this draft collar goes all the length of the entire zipper and it's really going to increase the amount of insulation around the zipper so no cold air gets in. So I'm going to get in it and I'm going to show you how well this thing uh, secures around the body and uh, we'll go from there. Pretty wide footbed. So I like my feet to be able to splay out a little bit. The draft collar around the neck is really nice as well. Fits in here. My head fits in nice and perfect. does have drawstrings, so I can cinch this thing really tight around my head if I want to to really increase the warmth. But even if I'm a side sleeper, which I am, I have tons of shoulder room in here. Now I am going to get out of this thing because it is super duper warm. But really nice plush hood, and I'll move the, uh, the camera around just so you can see how plush this thing really is. Uh, but yeah, minimal insulation on the bottom, which is nice. There's all your branding right there, Thermarest. It does have nice little hanging tabs right here. So you can hang this thing upside down and store it. Thermarest all over the zipper poles. And you can just see the minimal amount of insulation on the bed here. But the sides are really way more plush. The loft is huge. Try to get down on the side here so you can see how the loft is really high above the sleeping pad. Here's your exterior pocket right here. And here's your EN ratings. It is a size regular synthetic fill with the Aeroloft insulation. There's your nice little drawstring right here. So that's gonna cinch everything down. Nice draft collar right here. And a really plush hood. Very thick. More hanging hoops on the outside here. But this is a super duper warm bag and it's really gonna help. You also have a nice little zipper garage at the top here so you're not gonna get any chafing going on in your chin or anything like that. If you have a beard like I do, sometimes the zipper will get caught. Uh, and it kind of hurts. Other than that, you can just tell the overall loft of this bag is supreme. And it's really nice. Alright, so I'm going to get it off of the sleeping pad and I'm going to put it in the stuff sack and I'm going to show you how small it compresses. Done and done. Now I can compress this even more if I want to, but you know, it's, uh, it's still pretty big but it is a winter bag and this thing is going to keep you super warm in the middle of the night on very, very, very cold nights. Extremely well made. Good job, Thermarest. All right, guys, so that's my review with the Thermarest Centauri Winter Sleeping Bag. And this thing is a super plush, super warm sleeping bag with a lot of features and a lot of technology built in. Really nice, very, very well thought out and extremely warm. Hopefully I'll do some uh, cold weather camping in it uh, here shortly and I'll do a follow-up review. Uh, it doesn't get that cold here in California, so even in the... Uh, in the mountains. I'd have to go up into the Sierras uh, to get super cold, uh, but that's pretty far from my house. But either which way, 
you know you're going to get a quality sleeping bag when you get something like this. I'm really impressed with the way Thermarest is, uh, has this thing designed. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Please leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So on my end card, you're also going to see a video that you can click on for over a $1,400 worth of backpacking gear. Uh, we're raising money for charity for Big City Mountaineers, and we're hiking the John Muir Trail this August. This sleeping bag is actually included in that in that raffle. So, fifty dollars for one ticket, a hundred for three tickets, and one hundred and fifty for six tickets. I'm only selling two hundred tickets, so the odds of winning are great, and you can win up to you know a little over fourteen hundred dollars worth of brand new backpacking gear. So, thanks again. I really appreciate you tuning into my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.